Hello everyone! So today I am here with a new video for you guys. Um, basically today my fiance, Nico, and I are going book shopping in our new state. If you guys somehow missed it, um, I moved from New Hampshire down to Georgia uh, literally last week. And of course one of the first things that we want to do to go and kind of explore is go book shopping. So we have a whole bunch of uh, stores that we're going to go and check out. So yeah, I obviously wanted to take you guys along. I have a whole bunch of books that I want to look for, um, as well as I think all of these are actually used bookstores. So I'm really hoping to just find some gems and find some new books I've never heard of, which I obviously love doing. I actually just recently did a video uh, going book shopping back when up in New Hampshire, if you guys are interested in that. Uh, if you guys are ever going to visit New Hampshire and want to check out some Portsmouth book uh, bookstores, I ju we just recently did a video um, and I picked up some awesome books that I wasn't expecting to pick up. So yeah, today I have some books I'm going to definitely look for, but I also just love going to new bookstores and seeing what they have. So yeah, obviously I wanted to bring you guys along for our little book shopping tour of our new city. So yeah, um, I hope you guys all enjoy this video and yeah, hopefully I get some good vlog footage and then obviously Nico and I will do a little book haul for you guys um, when we get back. But yeah, let's go! so many books that I'm like, this won the Pulitzer Prize? Yeah. I'm like, have you ever heard of this book? No. Won the Pulitzer Prize. I just thought the title was weird, so I pulled it out. Ooh, alligators. This is what I want. I know. You're so little. 
I love you. Hi, Scopes! Hi! You're still not over the fact that I left you. Yeah, it's not right. Well, hello! We just got back from book shopping, so we have quite the stacks of books. So, we're just gonna go back and forth, tell you guys what we bought. Should I go first? Sure. I think I have the bigger stacks, if I'm completely honest. So, the first thing I bought was actually, first. well, so first off, all of the bookstores we went to were actually, like, used bookstores, which was really nice. Um, because up in New Hampshire, we only had Barnes & Noble, so it's kind of nice having some local businesses as well as used bookstores, because I've always preferred used bookstores. But the first book I picked up is a new release, so I got Come You Can't Communicate, Volume 13, and this is just the next one in the series that it just came out, so I picked this up because I saw it. Alright, so the first book that I got is uh, called Getting Off by Don Carpenter. I don't even know what this is about. I think it's a divorce book, but I don't know. I just read Hard Rain Falling by Don Carpenter, which Kate is reading right now and enjoying it, right? Getting Off by Don Carpenter, author of Higher Rain Falling, which Kate is reading and seems to be yes, enjoying. Yes, I am. So yeah, we'll see what it is. I'm sure I'll love it. Um, okay, so the next one I got is actually a book that will be going in my classroom. If you guys didn't know, I am an elementary school teacher now. And this is actually one that Haley told me to pick up. Um, so I got Out of My Mind by Sharon M. Draper. And this is about a young girl who is in a wheelchair as well as, I don't believe she can speak, like she's mute. Um, and Haley just said it was awesome, like diversity rep for like a person with disabilities. And I want to make my library as diverse and inclusive as possible. So I picked this one up and I'll definitely be reading it very soon. <laughs> Switch off. Um, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so okay, okay. okay. I'm trying to do these and yeah, you're just making you know, nice time to talk. Yeah, you know, this is my shot, but he's going crazy. Yeah, he's not. He's a scooper. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to do these in the general order. They pick these up. Second one is Tropic of Cancer by Henry Miller. All I know, I all I know about this is that uh, he was very um, transgressive, and uh, it was considered like pornography when I first put it out. And I know that Cormac McCarthy is a big fan of Henry Miller, so I thought, hey, I should try that because I love everything about Cormac McCarthy. So. Yeah, Charlotte Cancer. Um, yeah, so those two books I just showed are from Second and Charles. And then this next stack that I have are all classics I picked up from Second and Charles. So, so the first one I picked up was The Plague by Albert Camus. Does anyone remember when this book, you couldn't find it anywhere at the beginning of the pandemic. I really wanted to read it, but I ended up picking up The Stranger because it was the only one I could find by... Albert Camus, um, but yeah, now this one. I finally got a copy of it, and I'm very excited about it. It looks like it's gonna be great, so I picked it up. Alright, so also from Second and Charles, Stone Second and Charles, I got Siddhartha by Herman Hesse. Uh, I've been, me and Kate have both been meaning to read this for a long, long time. It's just like a fictionalized account of the Buddha, and his life, his original name was uh, Siddhartha, something that starts with a G, really long last name. But yeah, uh, this seems awesome. It's really short, so I'll probably read it soon, actually. Um, okay, so the next one is actually one that I do have this on audio, but I have been wanting a copy of this for so long because all of you guys keep telling me to read it, and that is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, and this is a gothic romance, um, classic? Yeah. Um, I think it sounds really, really good, so I picked it up. I, again, I do have the audio, so I'll probably listen to it on audio, but I always like having 
physical copies of classics in case I do want to annotate it. So, Rebecca. Um, so the last one I got from Second and Charles is Survivor by Chuck Palahniuk. <laughs> oh, what the heck yeah, just been that? staring at me. Scooby, come here. Scooby, come here. You are such a fluffy chicken nugget a right now. <laughs> you are such a fluffy munchkin. We need munchkin. to get them shooting soon. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Survivor by Chuck Palahniuk. It's just a guy who, okay, early Scooby, because I'm not wanting to meet. Come here, right come here! Alright, Survivor by Chuck Palahniuk. <laughs> um, it's a guy who's recounting his life as he's piloting a, a plane that's going to crash in Australia, and he's the only person on the plane. So, I don't know, it seems weird. I know that the pages go in reverse, like it starts at page, like, 270 and goes down oh, to zero. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. So yeah, and it's just him, like, going through his life as he's about to crash this plane. So, yeah, seems, seems cool. Alright, and then I got another George Eliot, and that is Adam Bede. I did also order, um, like, online a cop- Oh my god, Scooby. Scooby, come here. What's your problem? <laughs> okay, we got the Scoobs. Um, yeah, so I did order, um, The Mill on the Floss, also by George Eliot, just online, but this is one I found. At Second Charles, Adam B. This is kind of the other one that I've heard of it from her. And yeah, I absolutely love Middlemarch, if you guys are new here. Um, it's my favorite book of 2021 so far, so I definitely want to pick up more by her. A fluffy care package. <laughs> Alright, so moving <laughs> on to the book tavern haul. Um, which one should I start with? I got, I've been meaning to get this book forever, I've been meaning to read it since high school. So, Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. Uh, I remember my old AP lit teacher telling us that on the AP test, this is the most, like, questioned about book that you could do, or whatever, whatever their open response questions were. And they said, like, oh, you could do this book for it. It was always Invisible Man. So, I mean, it seems really cool. I've been meaning to read it forever. So, yeah. This is a fluffy chicken nugget if you've never seen one before. Most chicken nuggets have less hair. Um, oh, I saw one more from Second and Charles. I just, on a whim, decided to get Vanity Fair by W.M. Thackeray. I feel like I've heard it's a lot about this. Yeah, it. definitely not. <laughs> but, like, I've heard a lot about this, and the back intrigued me. So, yeah, I decided to pick this one up. I just, I saw it, and I decided to get it. Come here. Come here. Still stuff, you chicken nugget. Alright, um, another prominent, um, black American author, James Baldwin, I got. Uh, I got Going to Meet the Man. It's a collection of short stories, I believe. I believe, um, one of my favorite book reviewers, uh, Fair the Food Book Reviews reviewed this, said it was awesome. But I'd pick it up. I haven't read any Baldwin since college, and I actually did enjoy the Baldwin that I read in college. That's how we met! It is. If anyone yeah, knows our country. story, Nico saved my butt and told me what that book was about because I didn't read it. Yes. <laughs> Oh, look at him. He's being such a good boy. I don't want to put him down. Here, I'll try to do it with him. Yeah, do it. It's all multitasking. Okay, so next up, I have another Dostoevsky. You guys know Dostoevsky is my new, like, favorite author obsession. Um, I got The Adolescent by Dostoevsky. Basically, I realized that the Wordsworth Classic Editions that I've been getting, um, they don't actually include all of his works in those editions. It's just his most popular ones. So I decided to pick up this one because I've never even heard of this, never seen it before, and it was the same price as what it is on, like, Amazon. So yeah, I decided to pick up this. Obviously, it's Dostoevsky, so I'm going to read it and hopefully love it. Alright, and last one from Book Tavern, I got The uh, the City and the Pillar by Gore Vidal. Um, I believe this is just tailed as one of the best preeminent, like, post-World War II gay books. Um, that sort of... Uh, Yay! You should read that this month. Yeah, actually. Um, just like, I guess it views homosexuality in like a more, uh, kind light, I guess, where it's it's not one of those typical, like, either the gay guy is the hero, but he dies at the end, or whatever, or it's someone trying to repress, the, repress their homosexuality, it's more just a neutral view, which is nice. So yeah, um, and I've, and I've heard of this author for a while and I've wanted to read him, so I thought, sure. So the next one is one that I saw Emmy from Emmy Reads read. Um, and yeah, so I decided to just pick it up. I don't really know what it's about, but I saw her read it and she loved it. And we read really similarly. So I picked up Snow by Orhan Pamuk. And yeah, apparently, I think this story is basically just told... It's about, it's about someone, a poet in Turkey. 
And it kind of, like, describes life, but, like, through the, like, details of a sn of snow and, like, a snowflake. It's supposed to have, like, really beautiful descriptions and metaphors, so. Snow. Alright, and then I got the two books that the adjust did not get any, because she does not uh, support local businesses. Shut up, I didn't um, find anything. <laughs> um, so first one These got... were like all mass market paperbacks. Yeah. yeah and if you know stacks. me, I can't read mass market paperbacks. So. Um, first one I got was Rum Punch by Elmore Leonard. I haven't really read any Elmore Leonard, but me and Tita are both huge fans of Justified, which is based by a bunch of Elmore Leonard stories, and Rum Punch, if anybody's seen the movie Jackie Brown by Quentin Tarantino, I think it's based off this book. Yeah, oh, I've been meaning to read it, I've never seen Jackie Brown either, so, yeah, going into this fresh. Alright, and my last book is honestly a book that I have almost bought, like, a million times at different, um, used bookstores and regular bookstores. Every time Nico and I go out book shopping, I pick this up, and then I don't buy it. Yeah. And that is The Name of the Rose by Umberto Eco, and this is, I have, no, honestly, I have no clue what this book is. I have just gotten recommended it ever since I started reading Murakami. Like, I feel like the internet recommends me this book all the time, like Goodreads and stuff, but also you guys in the comments always recommend me it. I don't know if it's similar to Murakami, or if you guys just think I will like it, but it's translated from Italian. I don't have much Italian literature, so mm. trying it out. Alright, and then last one by, uh, I think, John Le Carr, uh, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. I know there's a movie based on this, but apparently John Le Carr writes the best spy novels because he was a real-life MI6 British agent who got his actual cover blown by an actual double agent, so he was like actually cool in real life and actually knew how the spies worked. So apparently he writes all the best spy novels, and I want to read this one. Yeah, that's the last one I got. Thank you for the cleaning, Scooby. Aw, oh, you're very dirty. I've been dirty. licking my hand for like a yeah, solid two minutes. You're very dirty. Alright, I'm going to put you down, Scoobs. Yeah. But anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this Come Book Shopping With Me video that I will definitely do more of in the future. But yeah, this was our first outing into the world to go and check out the bookstores in the new place that we live. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed coming along with us, and I love y'all. And I'll see y'all soon. Bye! Alright, thumbnail. Is <laughs> there a normal one too? <laughs> Stop! That's all you're getting. No, Nico, do a normal one. This is your fault. <laughs> okay. That's normal. <sighs> this is my fiance now. <laughs> I never made like an official announcement on YouTube. I just started saying my fiance. And people picked up on it? Yeah, this, yeah, no, people have said congrats a lot. So thank you for all of the congratulations. But yeah, this one's my fiancé now, and I have to marry him. And he's this weird. Yeah, she doesn't like me. <laughs>